Today's been a real special day for us. Um, the BPW reunion was a lot of fun and just getting to be with family all weekend. Um, but there's something really special getting to worship with our family. Something real beautiful. Um, it helps that all of you all can sing really well too. So it's <laughs> not hard to listen to you. It's actually kind of nice. But um, listening to dad uh, sing Watch the Lamb and uh, getting to sit there with our children. Uh, Miranda had a really wonderful moment with, uh, with Malachi then. And, and uh, it's uh, after, after, um, after church this morning, uh, Braden and Malachi and I were in the room when we were talking about uh, a legacy of faith that, that Miranda and I have been training Malachi and the, the kids to follow Jesus. And we were trained by our parents. And they were trained by theirs. And it's really kind of rare to have family on both sides like that. And we talked to the kids about how rare it is. And how even the generations before. How it's been passed on from generation to generation to generation to generation. And I said, and you know what guys, when you get old, when you grow up. I didn't even have to finish the sentence. As soon as I said, when you grow up. He spoke up and said, we're going to teach our kids, and we're going to train them and, and teach them to follow Jesus. And, and we talked about legacy of faith. So it was really special to get to have family here on this day. Um, but we wanted to make sure we had it here at the church as well. And our timing was terrible, but I, thank you for coming, church family, uh, because uh, you're going to walk with Malachi um, you know, I mean, Malachi, you see Dave every single Sunday, don't you? Yeah. Dave is here every Sunday. So, like, you know, Dave is a big part of you knowing Jesus. And so it's really cool that we get to do this with our family and our church family. And uh, it's been a, quite a road to get Malachi here. Ever since Braden was baptized uh, two Christmases ago, he's been asking to do it. But uh, we talked about um, how this needs to be a real love for God and a real genuine recognition that he's a sinner in need of a Savior. And uh, we were having a rough night one night, and uh, he was talking to me about it afterwards and saying in his bed he was asking God to forgive him because he knew he needed God's forgiveness and that he wanted Jesus to forgive him in his life. He gets it, you know. I didn't tell him to pray. I didn't tell him to ask for forgiveness. He on his own figured it out. And so I said, I think you're ready to be baptized. And he's been buzzing about it since. So enough of me talking. Buddy, I got a couple questions to ask you. Okay, you ready? Do you believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God? Yes. Do you believe he was a real man who walked this earth? Yes. Do you believe that he died on the cross and then three days later rose again? Do you want to make him Lord and Savior from this day for the rest of your life? Awesome. All right. Well, with that confession of faith, I now baptize you. Thank you. Thank you. In the name, okay, so here's you're going to have to put your, there you go, and then you can grab my arm if you want to. Okay. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, buried with Christ, and raised to walk in your life and cool. <laughs> buddy, God's word tells us that the old Malachi is now dead in that water, and you have a new life, a new life in Christ. He's gone. He's dead. Okay. Isn't that right? <laughs> Let's uh, circle up and pray. Is that cool? We're kind of in a circle. We're kind of in a circle, I guess. <laughs> so, I'm going to pr- Actually, Dad, would you pray? I would love to. Hmm. Oh, Father, what a privilege it is to be here today to witness the decision of a young man who has come to the understanding of his need for you. Father, each of us has sinned and fallen short of your glory. And you say that the wages of that sin is death, eternal death. But you love us so much that you gave us your son to pay the price for our sins. And so, Father, we... Thank you for the opportunity opportunity that we have to accept you as our Savior. The opportunity that we have to get to know you as our Father. And most of all, Father, the forgiveness of sins that you give to us. And the opportunity that we have to be united with 
with your son and you, in his death and burial and resurrection to be raised again with a new life. A life that is joined to you. A life where you've given us your spirit to guide us and to teach us and to comfort us and to shine forth through us. And so we pray for Malachi as he takes these steps in his life. I pray that he will draw close to you in the good times and in the bad. That he would understand that you are with him no matter where he goes and your love is never ending. It is forever. I pray for protection from your spirit and from your family that he's a part of here in Rochester and the family that we have that's here today. Father, what a blessing it is to be surrounded by people that love you and love us and that will keep us on the right path. And we pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen.